Hello. And welcome to Fridge Cam. If you eat food, then this is the show for you. In the fridge today, we test every kind of kitchen gadget you're going to need this Black Friday. We go old school and play a party game with chocolate. But, but first, first, you went on my swag. You went, you went on my swag. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has leftover turkey at this time of year. Especially in America. So Ben's going to show you how to make something great with it. And then we're going to show you how to make something spectacular with it. Leftover turkey dish, not a curry in sight. This is a good one for using up breast meat. So, what we're going to do is make a savoury crumble, and it begins with all the fillings and flavours. So, red onion, garlic, peeled, sliced, diced, sweated off in a pan with a shot of oil. Okay, while that's sweating off, I'm also going to um, sheath a couple of corn and wilt some spinach. So just a boiling kettle, pour straight over and the whole thing will wilt down, then we'll drain it and squeeze off the water. This wasn't good enough to make our Black Friday kitchen gadgets, so I thought oh. I'd shoehorn it in anyway. If this wasn't good enough to make it, then I dread to think what we'll be using later. It's better than I thought it was going to be, if I'm honest. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, you should have held it back. Oh no, oh, there no, it's is. broken. Single use. Yeah. <laughs> that's better. Oh look, that's easy. Useless or not, you, you decide. decide. <laughs> if you can't be bothered to pull it, <laughs> Slice it. This, this, let's be honest, this is for the day after the big celebration when you've got loads of turkey left. Or, mm -hmm. if you want to make it, you haven't got turkey left, get any turkey or chicken and just quickly roast it, seasoned, and you're good to go. But, because it's the day after a big celebration, you don't want lots of effort or faff. Yeah, I'd like a bit of faff every now and then. Well, you're married, so you gave that up a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to combine everything into this bowl. We've got our turkey, we've got our softened onions, spinach, corn, Creme fraiche and mustard. Oh, that actually looks good. I mean, the thing is, everything in there, you know, you can eat the corn just as it is. So that could also be the topping for a jacket potato, could go into a sandwich or a sub. But in our case, it's the base to crumble. That does look good, but it is going to come down to what the crumble is on mm -hmm. top. You are going to be judged on your crumble. Mate. Because if this is now a sugary, brown, buttery <laughs> type crumble. In our case, it's butter rubbed into flour, a bit of cornmeal, some garlic granules and smoked paprika. Heavy on salt and pepper and scattered over the top. What does the uh, cornmeal do? Uh, it goes in here, yeah. adds texture, colour and a slight, not a nuttiness, but a slightly different flavour. And we've got corn in here, so I feel like it's just working. The base and the filling needs to bubble. It's pretty much already cooked, but the crumble needs to cook. So probably 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius will do it nicely. Which gives us the perfect amount of time to make a banging ban me. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The ban me, one of the world's most famous dishes. Mm -hmm. And why? Because it is just delicious. And it's a cornucopia of flavours. Sweet, sour, salty, delicious. Much like the cornucopia of flavours of our four personalities. And we're going to start with a pickled veg. We've got carrots, cucumber and radishes. We're going to slice them finely into julienne. Baz. Mm -hmm. Baz. That's, that's not happening for you, is it? No. It's more julienne. It's definitely more julienne than julienne. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Once you've got your veg all julienne and julienned up, stick it in a bowl with some salt and leave it for 10 minutes. For our broth, we're going to finely dice some chilli, some garlic, some ginger and some shallots. We're going to bruise a stick of lemongrass, we're going to chuck it all into a pan and we're going to bring it up to a boil along with some fish sauce, some soy sauce and some chicken stock. Broth on! And now for the pickling liquid, rice wine vinegar, salt, sugar and water in a pan, bring it up to a boil. And onto our bird. We're going to take the fat off and then we're going to peel all the lovely brown meat off it. Watch out for the tendons because they're thick and mini. Mike's nipples are so profound today that I could imagine them sprouting off some Aristotle quotes. <laughs> Barry is like the buzzfeed of sorted food. Yeah, yeah, I'll agree with that. My life is just in lists and short sentences. <laughs> Question. How long does it take to cook a human leg? <laughs> <laughs> Roasting it a couple of hours, maybe, to get through to the core. I don't like change. Sorry we changed things, but comment of the week is back, so, you know, yay. And now to finish off our pickled veg, 
in with a load of water to wash off that salt. Give it a little wiggle. Nice wiggle. And then pour over our vinegar. Give it a stir, make sure it's submerged. And then you want that to cool, so whack it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. And onto our bread. These are French baguettes. They need to be toasted in an oven. We are gonna halve them, we are gonna open them, we are gonna put them on a baking tray and put them in the oven for five minutes. Our broth is reduced by half. The boys have picked all of our turkey. We're gonna put the turkey in the broth for about 10 minutes. And our bread is out of the oven, and it's time to slop on some mayonnaise, some pate, and some shredded lettuce. <laughs> Whilst we wait for our turkey to cool down and construct the rest of our sandwich, why don't we review some gadgets? I mean, that's why you're here. Let's not beat around the bush. Yeah. Ooh. That looks like an adulterous husband torture device. This device is the egg topper. If you're a fan of soft or hard boiled eggs, but don't want to waste your time tapping and peeling away the shell from the top, this will cap it in one. Okay, this goes on here, and you... I quite like that, I think that's pretty good. Well, that is the egg topper. Useless or not, you decide. I put my shoe on with one of these this morning. Is it a she wee? I don't. I'm just... The ring pull can opener. If you struggle to get your fingers under that tight ring pull, then this leveraging device will make it super easy. That's why they created ring pulls in the first place. The ring pull can opener. Useless or not, you decide. I like peaches though. I know what this is. I had these um, as a toy. It's the, um, it's the feet to Mr. Potato Head. Where's the rest of him? The potato foot. A cheap piece of plastic, perfect if you want to microwave a baked potato. It pierces the skin and keeps the potato off of the plate. A perfect, even cook every time. Uh, oh, I'm actually right. Is it actually good? Mr. Potato Head feet. Uses or not, you decide. <laughs> oh, what is that? I don't want to hold it like that. This is the cherry tomato harvard guard. If you've got a bunch of cherry tomatoes that all need halving for that gorgeous salad, this will do it. Stack them up into the chute, slice down with a serrated knife and pop them straight out. Job done. Okay, one. The fruit and veg slicing guard. Useless or not, you decide. This looks like one of those camping knives that Ben uses when he goes away for the weekend. This is Spread That, the world's most advanced butter knife. Made from a heat conducting metal, it transfers the heat from your hand to the blade of the knife. No electricity, no heating up required. This way, you can spread cold butter straight from the fridge. Okay, that is, that is making the butter more spreadable. The spreadable butter, hot spreadable butter knife. Useless or not, you decide. And yes, this is how much butter I put on my bread. What? Oh my goodness. I've always wanted one of these. This is, um, this is Darth Maul's lightsaber, isn't it? Oh my God, it actually comes out! This handy gadget is the sous If you haven't got years and years and years to train as a sushi chef, but you want a tight roll, then this is how to achieve it. Press in your sushi rice, add your fillings, close it down and plunge the perfect sushi roll to wrap in nori. I oh, so I'm pretty damn close. And I've got to make one. Okay, let's see what happens. 
God, this is weird. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay, I started off a little bit dodgy on the end, but by that side, absolutely fine. I get that. That does make some sense to me, but it's just another gadget to fill up a drawer. Do you need it? The sushi easy. Useless or not, you decide. Somehow I feel stupider having watched that. More stupid or stupider? Stupider. Definitely stupider. Anyway, let's construct our band me. Right, that's enough faffing over a sandwich. Well, well, done. Done. well done. Well, I don't think we can pass any judgment until both of our dishes have been put through the same seats. Well, Ben, you've already tucked into yours, so shall we have one as well? <laughs> Sexies are sexier when you can see into it. Oh. <laughs> no! How is that a... You <laughs> twist my words every time. Ow. That's actually really good. There's far more flavour in that crumble than I expected. Man, that is banging. Mm. Speaking of banging... That is superb. So good. Really proud of that. Guys, it's Thanksgiving. Should there be a loser? We can agree they're both equally Absolutely, awesome. Absolutely, yes. We're going to put a poll up so you can vote for which one of these is your favourite. Jamie, say something now. Or if you don't agree that one of these should be your favourite, then why don't you comment down below and let us know what you would cook with your leftover turkey. Perfect. That's what I wanted to... Oh. Oh. No! Oh. No! <laughs> Double turkey. I really enjoyed today's episode. Me too. If you enjoyed it and you enjoyed our turkey recipes, then there's plenty more on sortedfood.com. Oh, and if you go into sortedfood.com, you might just see that we have a whole brand new, completely fantastic, utterly incredible, sexy new looking website. Yeah, you should check it out. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will make you hungry. But for now, I think that fridge cam had everything. It had one of the best Benuendos we've had for a long time. Sexies are sexy when you can see into it. And it had Julian and Julienne, which was surprising. And if you stick with us now, we've got an old school party game. We're playing Spin the Bottle. No, we're not. What? No, we're not. <laughs> we're not playing ends. Spin the Bottle. Please, Please no. We are not playing Spin the Bottle. The well, I don't know what we're doing then. Well, neither do I. Please put the gloves on anyway. We're playing <laughs> something with gloves, something with chocolate, and <gasps> somebody explain what's going on. I don't, I've never heard One of this One more game awesome kitchen gadget. Wow.